mono. Add the stereo pair. And now we'll add the room. Hello, Helix users. I have been trying to find that in the room tone with this Helix and other digital modelers. Been kind of inspired by Ola England's In the Room video series where he uh, demos an amp in and records it in a way the same way that uh, recording studios do with a combination, a mixture of close and far and stereo paired microphones to get the sound that we hear when we're in the room with a guitar amp, uh, which is really pleasing. It's really hard to do with uh, a modeler, especially the Helix, since the Helix uh, can't capture or can't uh, do stereo impulse responses. So maybe this is not new, but uh, it was helpful to me and I'm kind of getting the tones closer to what I want now. So I figured I'd share what I've been doing. So here is the finished product. <laughs> Okay, so how do I get this tone? Your amp settings and whatever you like, clean or dirty, that tone, that's an EQ and all that, that's uh, kind of immaterial to this video. What we're looking at is how to get any amp uh, and EQ and tone settings that you like uh, to sound like you're in the room with it. And that's three main factors here. First is the impulse response. And then the two things after that are cascaded reverbs. So the way the signal chain goes here, it starts out here from the guitar, goes along a couple things, compression EQ, a boost, the amp, uh, and then we hit our impulse response, which I'm using an own hammer um, combination of a 57 and a 121, which is really typical. Um, and then we EQ out and we hit this retro reel, which is the nice tape machine, which I think just warms up the sound. Uh, and then I finish with a multi-band compressor. So that's just the mono line of things. After that, the signal gets split uh, down to um, 2A and then it gets split again. Uh, so we have our main just mono uh, sound, our tone, our mono tone that goes out once mono, and then it gets split down into two separate things that are cascaded on top of that mono tone. Uh, and those two things are reverb. So the first reverb is, uh, it's trying to simulate like a stereo microphone that you would have in the back of the room. Um, so you have very, very low uh, room size, and it's just using that dynamic ambience uh, model they came out with uh, a patch or two ago, um, which is really neat for that. And that's so this is just simulating kind of the in the back of the room tone. Uh, and then down here is uh, more of our room reverb that kind of goes on top of everything else. So I'll demo demo all these three layers individually so you can hear them. First one I'll just play is the mono guitar tone, uh, which is B. That's everything that's just coming out of the top here. You hear that's super mono. So now we'll go over, I'm gonna shut off that mono mic. Now let's just hear the room mics on their own. And so it's gonna sound like, uh, again, this is just reverb. I'm pretending it's actual room mics or it's a stereo impulse response, but no, it's just this dynamic ambience. So that's just the dynamic ambience and it's EQ'd a ton to, to get it that way. And I'll kind of get into that. But uh, the key thing there is it's a stereo. Uh, there's separation there in stereo. Another key thing is after that, I put this stereo image there. So if you're familiar with mid side, take out as much mid as possible. And so you just have what's on the left and the right. And that clears the way for that monotone up top. Uh, so now we have our, our monotone and we have our kind of stereo paired microphones in the room that are on the left and right of that. And now 
uh, we finish it off with actual reverb, this dynamic room. So I'll just solo that. So on its own, that probably sounds, you know, extremely bass heavy, the, the uh, high cuts uh, up there, uh, it, it's EQ'd, but on their own, they probably don't sound that great, but it's all about trying to get all these three layers to sound uh, very good when they're mixed together and cascaded together. So uh, now I'll play just the monotone and I'll kind of um, add as we go here. So back to just the mono. <laughs> All right, now I'm just going to add the sides, those stereo pair at the second level down. Again, mono. Add the stereo pair. And now we'll add the room. That room, that uh, room reverb is pretty um, subtle. It's, it's discreet, but it just adds that little uh, layer that you want that makes it feel like you're, you're in the room. <laughs> 